Hello, it's my Eurovision 2020 October update. Welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. Please do click on the subscribe button or the notification bell, and also please do like, share and comment below. It's time for my sort of monthly update on what's been happening uh, in Eurovision um, and the preparations for the 2020 contest. Now, October is uh, often a sort of a slightly quieter time. Um, you don't get an awful lot of action happening. Um, uh, but we've actually had two artist announcements, uh, rather surprisingly. Um, first of all, we've had Belgium announce uh, their artist, and, and out of the blue completely, Spain announced their artist for this year. Um, or oh, this year, 2020, sorry. Um, so Belgium's artist is Hoover Phonic, uh, who are a band who've actually been around since 1995, although albeit with some changes of personnel in that time. Um, they're a kind of indie or terms of electro uh, pop band. Um, in terms of what they've kind of some of the fame, more famous stuff, then they've done a lot of uh, their music's been used a lot in kind of TV and film and adverts. And they also actually did the music for the 2000 uh, sort of European football championships as well, which were held in Belgium and the Netherlands. So they've got a lot of pedigree, you've got a, lot, a long history. So it'll be interesting to see what they bring to the contest. Their song won't be released till February, though, so we have a little while to wait. Uh, and just uh, a few days later, or was a week or two later, um, Spain, having only just told us that they were going to be doing an internally selected, um, internally selected artist this year, then actually gave us the name of the artist quite quickly. And his name is Blas Canto. He's a 27 year old. Um, he has. Uh, he used to be in a boy band, uh, which he founded, um, and they actually tried to enter. Eurovision for Spain in 2011 and got to the final three in their national selection but uh, lost out to Lucia Perez um, and actually he's got even further more connections with Eurovision because back in 2004 he was in the national final to represent Spain uh, at the junior Eurovision although again he wasn't successful so he finally gets to go to Eurovision and so third time lucky uh, for him there. Um, in terms of other things that happen in October, there's a lot of kind of bits and pieces coming out about when national finals are going to be held or what internal selections are going to be, um, kind of how many artists, selection processes, all that kind of thing. Uh, and so what I do every year on my website, mattlovesurovision.com, is I have a page which kind of summarises all of the national uh, selections from each country and I update that throughout the Eurovision season. And so that is now live for the 2020 season so you can see that on my website. There'll be a link in the description that you can follow. Um, I'm also going to put it, be putting up a uh, 2020 calendar as well, so you can actually see the dates. Uh, and again, I'll, I update that throughout the season. So again, I will have a link in the description that you can see. We'll be back uh, in November, um, uh, towards the end of November, with another monthly update, and we'll see what's happened in the intervening weeks. I'll see you again soon.